Hello! If you are clicking on this video, then it's probably a video. <laughs> a gaming video, most likely. It could be a reaction video. But anyways, I am here to let you know that this book... Sorry, I was looking at the camera. This book right here. This proof copy. This is just the proof copy, not the official published book. But the published book of What's Past is Prologue is out now on Amazon. It'll be in the description and probably the top comment. If you like, if you enjoy tense cliffhangers, time warping mystery and complex character backgrounds, then you'll love this book. Okay, enjoy the video guys. See ya. Okay, hello guys. We are here with another reaction video. Um, this is the first video like this. You'll notice the, the green stuff and this right here. It's my book. It's available now. I'm working on it a while and here it is. Uh, I probably talked about it in the beginning, so you're probably sick of it, but here it is, available now, if you're wondering what that is. Okay, but here we are with another Chilling Scares video I've liked, and of course I'm still subbed. And this is, I think, this is this channel's most popular video, The 8 Most Disturbing Things Caught on Dashcam Footage, Volume 3, I guess we're starting on. I guess we're going to go backwards on this, Volume 3, then 2, then 1. But here we are. Um, let me know in the comments below anything you'd like me to react to. Anything, pretty much. Um, and if you, how you feel about this new cam situation? Do you want me to go back in the bottom left? Do you, do you want me to get rid of the green thing and instead add just, just a bar beneath me? Let me know. I take suggestions, okay? But here we are. I am starting it. And I know it's gonna be uh, don't copyright me. Please don't copyright me with that music. Most disturbing things on the dash cam. This first dash cam video was captured in Australia. Two men in a Mercedes are driving down the highway. He sounds when a lot to different. Rear dash cam, a car is seen is quickly approaching. Ago. It then swerves around the two guys before getting in front of them and slamming on the brakes, clearly trying to run them off the road. But Whoa. what first could be written off as road rage soon takes a more serious and disturbing turn. The two men notice the driver has an axe and is now Whoa. waving it out his window and threatening them. Whoa. Oh, he's got an axe, dude. Like, he's got an axe, dude. What are you doing? Oh. Keep distance, bro. I mean, do they even know these people? Or is this just random? Is he telling them to pull over? Just drive away. Oh, he's right behind them. Oh. You turn. They're chasing. They're chasing him. The sudden him. and unexpected encounter forces the two men to take a quick U-turn to lose the guy, but he continues to follow them. This guy's the voice is so is different. Then taken even further, Long the two ago. use the next exit and approach a roundabout. Oh my gosh, he's still chasing. Why has he got beef with these people? What do they do? Oh Dude, my gosh! Keep driving, holy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He slammed into them. Holy. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, keep going. Just keep... Oh, my God. Goodness. Two that... times the Mercedes is rear ended, Jesus. the second of which causes the attacker to spin out, I mean, sending him off the road. It was that fast that he. This allowed the two guys him. to get away. They would then drive to the nearest police station where they would report what had just happened. When police arrived to the scene of the crash, the car was gone. However, a few hours later, they would find the vehicle on the road, and from there, the driver was arrested. Okay, nice. Later, the owner of the dash cam footage would give the video more context. More Apparently, context? Apparently, the driver chasing them, for whatever reason, was 100% convinced they had robbed his house the night before. Oh. But, obviously, this wasn't the case. The two guys had never before even seen the man. It was determined that he was under the influence of something. He would be charged with multiple offenses. It was determined he was under the influence in of something. Two years. I was confused. I thought he was the passenger, but he's the August driver, right? He's <laughs> on the Justin right Bilton side. And you drive there. Year old father were camping at Glacier I National still can't park with this guy's Montana. voice. <laughs> they had only his, been in the park for three hours so when weird. they were informed of an immediate evacuation of the area. I mean, it's not bad. But a it's forest just, like, fire ignited different. by lightning the previous night had gotten too far out of control. Okay. However, by the time they got the evacuation notice, unknown to them, the only road out of the park had already been engulfed by the fire. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh. What? Dad, what if the car blows up? Oh, wow. 
Then we're dead. Yeah, this is insane. We're just saying that. heating up it's gonna explode Dad, what if a tree falls on us oh my goodness was there no, no we can't get out. I'm getting out you we can't can drive back I can we get that out of the road we get gloves oh my god stop stop we got gloves get Dad, that out of, the get road. out of here a fallen tree is seen directly in the middle of the road trapping them inside Whoa. the park they had nowhere to go but back, so they ended up reversing through everything they had just went through. Oh, shoot. When they reached their campsite, they abandoned their car and desperately started running towards a nearby lake. By some miracle, there they would find two park employees in a boat on the shore of the lake. Oh. Justin and his father Jeez. were rescued and taken to safety, leaving everything but this horrifying His dad behind. was, like, annoyed. <laughs> and he was just, the son was just panicking. <laughs> This dash cam footage shows the armed robbery of a cab driver. Oh, the driver, gosh. Ralph Valletta, had just started his shift. This was his first rider of the day. First rider he was of the day. stopped at a light, and the rider can be seen in the back slouched down. But abruptly, he sits oh. up and demands Ralph give him everything he has. Does Ralph even have anything on him? It's just a cab driver. Give me all your money, man. Man, I don't give me all, everything you got. Give me a, all right, now. All right, all right. I need it now. All right. I can make this the easy I'll way, or we can make this the hard way. Everything I got, man. Keep your hand where I can see him. I just started. What, what I just else, started. What else you got? I just started. Let me see your wallet. Let me see your. You, I, I don't have anything in my wallet. We can do this the hard way, or we can do this the easy way, man. Let me see your wallet and let me see your phone. I need it all right now. If you don't want to die, man. Okay. Okay. Give it all to me now. Okay. He's okay. doing this on his first on drive of the, the day? Rider, a police cruiser was stopped at the same light directly oh. behind them. Oh, at damn. Some point during the robbery, the light to the lane they were in had turned green. And seeing that they weren't moving, the officer put on his lights and got out to investigate. Oh, don't have anything in my wait, that's don't so have lucky. I need your phone. I need your wallet. No, please don't give me my phone. I need that for my... There's please a copy don't take my phone. There's a cop behind this? Why would you tell him that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Almost immediately, the officer would realize that a robbery was taking place. Poor Ralphie. So in response, he would order the rider out of the car, where he would then be detained. The rider was arrested and later charged with multiple offenses. Dang. I mean, Ralphie must be a good person. Like, what in are the April odds of having that right behind you? A man named Mitch Kuhn was driving on the like, highway that's back from work though, right? when he saw this. Or luck. A child that looks to be wearing a large jacket a or that's possibly wrapped in a blanket begins walking out in the middle of the highway, oh my just goodness. barely missing Mitch's truck. Mitch was towing a trailer Did he get out of the and truck? felt that if he abruptly stopped, it would cause an accident. So instead, he opted to call the police, oh. reporting an unattended child walking on the highway. Police assured Mitch that they'd send out patrol units immediately. What? An hour later, Mitch called again for a follow-up, as well as to offer the footage he had caught on his dash cam. But he was told that it was necessary, as the child had been collected safely and was on its way home. Okay. However, strangely, police would later state that no child was found despite officers searching the area until 3.45 a.m. Additionally, they would claim that at no point did they tell Mitch that they had found the child. The next morning, multiple volunteers commenced the search of the area, but no child was ever found, and therefore the search eventually ended. At the time the footage Goodness. was captured, there were no reports of a missing child in the area. It remains unknown who exactly was captured in this video. Oh goodness. Maybe that's this like dash cam footage an alien was captured wrapped in, the in a blanket. Of Taiwan. <laughs> right away, it's clear the video takes place in the midst Maybe. of a storm. A storm where the winds are strong enough to throw around debris. Oh, gosh. At one point, the debris is even seen flying against the windshield. But little did the drivers know that an this actual tornado was Asia. forming right behind them and quickly heading in their direction. Tornado. Yeah. Holy. Oh my goodness. 
The dash cam footage captures the exact Wait, moment did it the tornado went directly through, right them. through them. Yeah. It That's was even strong thing. enough to lift vehicles off the ground, which can actually be seen with the white van that pulls out onto the went road. right through them and then grabs that. Wheels the vehicle leave the ground, yeah. and it begins to get full on dragged by the tornado, seemingly disappearing. But once the tornado passes, it can be seen much further down the road, wedged okay. in between two trees. More concerning, however, is the person that gets thrown by the tornado on the right side of the road. Unfortunately, this woman would suffer major injuries and would be taken to the hospital. Oh, the no. storm would go on to produce further damage in the form of 50 inches of rain that would cause multiple deadly landslides. Yeah, that woman is just sitting there. This video was taken in Russia. It shows the dash cam Russia. footage of a man driving down a desolate and long stretch of dirt road. Yeah, where the hell is this? And up oh, ahead like is Russia? a car parked in such a way as to block is. traffic. Two men uh -oh. with baseball bats begin walking up to the driver, They're and that's when it becomes road. clear that this is a robbery, and the parked car was an intentional makeshift roadblock. Just run over. The driver tries to escape, but the two men get in the way and do their best to prevent it. Just run over them, and go into the crops to the left or something. Don't let them stick their hands on. Fortunately, your the car. driver had a window of opportunity and took advantage. He slammed on the gas and was able to get away unscathed. He then drove yeah. around the roadblock and was free. It's unknown if the two men with baseball bats were ever caught. Interesting. In late November yeah, that was of like 2015, a, failed robbery. <laughs> a large catastrophic bushfire broke that out in South a Australia. Pretty big this fail. dash cam footage was captured by one of the fire trucks responding to the incident. Right from the start of the video, enormous smoke clouds are shown, depicting just how large the fire had gotten. As the trucks continue forward, visibility Jeez. gradually worsens. It's huge. It gets so bad to where the fire trucks are forced to stop. Then, in the distance, the fire itself can be seen, spreading towards them Whoa, unnervingly blue. fast. Here comes a They're like in a whole another world in here. But seriously. Oh, it's straight up just moving over here. Wow, it is. Who's not backing up? Who's the dash cam is not moving? Oh my gosh, this communication between the two trucks resulted in, in a collision. The truck in the front was attempting to back up out of the fire, while the truck with the dash cam was entering what's known as a burnover. A burnover, a burnover is a fire truck protection protocol where the truck stays in place and the crew deploys Velcro blankets to protect themselves from the heat. Okay. Water is sprayed outside of the vehicle to keep it from catching on fire, and in the inside, breathing masks are used by the crew. During this protocol, okay. however, the crew from the truck in the front can be heard desperately explaining how they didn't have water for a burnover. Or oh, rather, their no. truck sprinkler system wasn't working properly. Oh, no. They have no water, so they're just going? Jeez, that fire. Like, literally jumped and spread. They couldn't stay in place and were forced to drive forward in the hopes of escaping the fire. Do we know if they made which it? You can actually see in the video as the truck fades into the distance. Fortunately, this move would end up saving their lives. Yes. They would make it to the other side of the they fire, survived. and everyone inside the truck, as well as the one with the dash cam, would Good make judgment it out with call. minimal injuries. Good judgment call there. To save their lives. This footage was captured way back in 2012. Way back. It takes place near an airport in Moscow, Russia. The airport is right next to a highway. And on December 29th, this dash cam footage would capture the disturbing moments a plane missed the runway and crash landed just on the right side of the highway. What? It's crazy he said 2012 was way back. Oh. Oh, he straight up smacked that car that tire. Do you keep driving after that? I mean, you don't, right? It turns out the plane had mistakenly overshot the runway because of bad weather conditions. So when it landed, it didn't have enough room to brake. This left it no choice but to go directly into the highway, causing plane seats and other debris to shoot towards passing vehicles, all of which can be clearly seen in the footage. 
At the time of the crash, the plane was only carrying crew members. No passengers members? were on board. Okay. But okay, so unfortunately, okay. five of the eight total crew members would lose their lives. Dang. The driver of the vehicle with the dash cam would make it out unharmed. Wow. Just drive a plane, miss the runway, and boom, life done just like that. That's crazy. Another great video from Chilling Scares. His voice is a lot different. I know I said that a lot, but I can't get over it. But um, thank you to everyone who's watching. Uh, uh, true horror content for video recommendations. Okay, this is uh, the Chilling Scares thingy. thingy. Uh, on my channel, I will have it in the exact same spot relatively, so you can click on it. I'll have a recommended video for you somewhere probably down here or down here. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Once again, check this out, this book right here. But anyways, have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.